Okay, uh, good morning. Well, I thought I'd do a, I thought I'd do something here that I haven't done in a very long time. Um, just something I something I like doing uh, when I first started streaming is um, doing one of these uh, commentary videos. I think I did another one where um, I rated a bunch of uh, pinball arcade tables recently, but uh, the span of time between that video and the last commentary I video I did it was a very long period of time so I felt like I was out I was about overdue to make another one um, this time around though this one here is uh it's from the twitch the twitch reddit um, this is about streaming though not not any games in general just just about me streaming uh, and found a good question here from Blurrim Rim 44. I'll just call him Blurry 44. But he has a pretty good question here. What makes your streams interesting, worth watching, in your opinion? Um, so I thought I'd go ahead and um, answer it, and like I usually do on these uh, on these forums, I'll also go down the line and uh, comment on other people's posts. But I'm not calling them out. I'm not trying to embarrass them or anything like that. I'm not trying to expose them. Um, just a lot of times um, I actually get my inspiration from other people's posts so it, something like that can really help help me get things sorted out in my head uh, so let's begin I guess uh, I guess one thing that uh you know let me just do this variety streamer here for a while now same thing I've probably been streaming for probably about I want to say two and a half three years now and I've been getting a good amount of viewers whereas he doesn't he's not giving a specific number but I'm guessing he probably has a lot more than I do so probably what uh makes my streams interesting what makes my streams interesting might be very well be one of the reasons why very few people come on it I'll explain that later. Here is yet. I'm not sure if it's either my personality, the games I'm playing, or if I'm funny. Uh, my experience with that, it's a pretty nebulous term. It could be just about anything. It could be because it could even be because you're wearing a blue shirt. You know, something as innocuous as that. So it. I wouldn't do any market research on this or anything. Not worth the time. Pretty sure. I just play a small game. Just... Um. I forget the name. I forget his name off the top of my head. But he was a he was a famous um radio personality. He was a doctor. He wrote a book called Eat, Drink, and Be Merry. Um. It's a philosophy that I often forget too, but you're probably a lot better at this than you think. Uh, he, his favorite phrase was, you're in much better health than you think. You're in a lot better shape than you realize. So, in response to this, you're probably a much better streamer than you think. So, but like I said, like I said in the previous sentence, uh, people come to your stream for a wide variety of reasons. I mean, some are more popular than others, but it's if you don't expect it, you're more likely to get it. That, I guess would be another way of looking at it. I know I shouldn't be thinking about these things at all. No, you shouldn't. Streaming should be as much for you as it is for the people that want to visit. That's another philosophy I go by, too. I mean, I gotta enjoy. I mean, I got. Excuse me. I gotta enjoy what I'm doing too, as well as the other people. I mean, I'm not. I'm not 100% altruistic when it comes to streaming. I have to enjoy it as well. Um. This is kind of a two-parter here, but part one, uh, probably one thing that definitely makes my streams interesting, at least what I play Path of Exile, is.
I play re I play vinyl records when I stream Path of Exile, which is uh, what I stream most of the time. Um, it's something that I can only recall maybe one one other uh, streamer that uh, sh that uh, plays vinyl records that also. Well, I phrase I phrase that wrong. I can only think of one other streamer that does what I do. Play vinyl when they're streaming. But all the other streamers out there that I've seen don't. They usually just play Spotify music. Um, they play, you know, they play free music. And a lot of them play music that's, to me, total shit. I can't stand it. Uh, dubstep, techno, uh, rap. Um, music that I probably hear every day at work or music that you, mainstream music that you hear on the radio every day it's stuff that that's a huge turnoff for me so so I thought I'd do something completely different here and just play good old obscure vinyl records and um, I have been known to play polka music too hell a few days ago I, was, I got a I got a I think I got a record called John F. Kennedy the memorial album like it's a whole bunch of uh, speeches and press conferences that he did. Um, I think there was a last track is like a memorial, memorial thingy on on JFK's influence on the world and whatnot. I even played some stuff like that too. So um, I guess um, I guess another thing that could probably make my stream interesting is the fact that. I stream when sitting on I stream sitting on the floor. No, I don't. I stream in my living room. I have my computer out here. I have my computer out here in the living room. I play games with it. I watch TV with it. I listen to music with it. But I pretty much do most everything with it out here in the living room. I don't I used to do I think at one point I used to do used to stream the way most everybody else streams. In their bedroom, in their computer room, sitting behind a desk. Actually, it got to where I actually found sitting in an office chair very uncomfortable. Um, my butt would hurt, my lower back would hurt more than it normally does. Um, sometimes my hips would hurt, depending on the depending on the chair. Um, chair uh, chair cushions would eventually be nice and fluffy when I first buy them, but after a while. <laughs> They just get flattened to almost nothing. It's like sitting on a damn whoopee cushion. Uh, I was going through, I was going through a, I'm going through an office chair like maybe once every six months, sitting on them for so much they just can't handle my uh, big 200 pound ass and eventually it just, you know, just, you know it is all mechanical problems. It better, basically, it, um, it's actually more comfortable for me sitting on the floor than it is in an office chair. Um, I actually. I, had, I also had my um, I had a stream in my bedroom. I had the uh, chair, or I had my um, I had my bed pushed right up to the um, to the desk, and you know, sometimes I move around it. And my uh, neighbor below me will get mad, and once in a while, boom, 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 would pound on the ceiling. So, had to had to nix that idea. But anyway, that's probably another thing that makes my stream interesting. I'm. Probably the only person that I can think of that actually streams on the floor. I don't. I don't stream on a desk like everybody else does. Um. I guess uh, personality could be another one. I'm a. It's not something I like to advertise a lot, but I'm a self-diagnosed schizophrenic. Like I. Like I have my own little. I've had my own little chat room up here. Ever since I've, ever since I was a little kid, I basically say and do mo do a lot of things in life that only make sense to me. So, whereas I'm pretty sure uh, most every other streamer are strapping on lads, are totally sane and normal and totally stable and whatnot. So, um, I guess to answer this question here, okay, mic's still working. Uh, to answer this question here. I've been a gamer ever since I was a little kid. So, from Atari 2600 and arcades all the way up until, you know, PC entry-level gaming rigs and streaming out Path of Exile. 
it also. So I guess moving right along to the next question. Or even, what do you see in a streamer that makes you want to come back and watch them again? Um, to be honest, ever since I started streaming, like two and a half, three years ago, I very, very, very rarely watch other streamers. But for the probably six-month period of time that I did watch them, um, it's basically all the things that I do are uh, things that uh, nobody else, things that nobody else does, or are more often than not are major turnoffs for me. Um, the aforementioned music. I mean, if I go on, if I go into some stream, and if I'm hearing, or if I hear, shit, chicken, motherfucking nigga, shit, chicken, motherfucking ass, you know, you know the hardcore rap stuff. If I hear that, I'm gone. It, that I can't stand that kind of music. I would rather you. I would rather you just not play anything at all than have to hear that crap. Bad music is worse than no music. Probably not. Uh, last time I posted that in the Twitch, on a Twitch Reddit, it wasn't a very popular opinion. A lot of people, lots of people think uh, any music is better than no music. Um, but uh, as far as that, a streamer that, would act, that was actually creative with the kind of music they play you know, you know, somebody who might, who might actually, chances are I might play this tonight, who might, you know, throw on Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker Suite while he's playing Call of Duty, shooting people in the head, you know, something like that. Yeah, that, I'd be pretty impressed. You know, um, what else would I see in a streamer? Uh... A streamer that, at the same time, that actually talks, but doesn't feel a need to blah, 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 constantly chatterbox, uh, or even worse still, somebody who would just non-stop diarrhea to all, would talk about anything from the, from the mouse that they use, or, hey, I found this receipt this morning, hey, let's see what's on, and, you know, read it, read it off, hey, it's from Target, you know, that kind of thing, you just, People like that, to me, strike me as very desperate. Like, they're afraid of, uh, they're afraid of losing viewers, or they're afraid of their viewers coming on, getting bored, and then just leaving. So they gotta, they gotta keep the mouth running, they gotta try to, they're, they feel like they're forcing to keep viewers interested, but to distill all that down, streamers who, streamers who either A, don't talk at all, like they're dead silent, or B, streamers just, just they just don't shut up. Those are turnoffs. Um, I ain't watching them again. Um, but otherwise, um, streamers that uh, curse like sailors is another turnoff. Um, I like. I mean, I, I'm totally cool with a streamer that curses and swears every so often. Like if he's in the middle of a game or something, and he get he gets taken out with a headshot. <laughs> Block, you know, something like that, but somebody who just casually curses constantly is a turn off. But yeah, that, I that's all I can think of at the moment. Like I said, I haven't really seriously watched any other streamers in almost three years. So I'm kind of out of the loop. But let me um but let me go down and all the, look at all the other posts and comment on them. But as stated earlier, I'm not trying to call anybody out. I'm not trying to embarrass anybody, but I just find it easier to just talk it out than to just have a sit and try to type out all my thoughts and feelings. So, we are also female on Twitch. Man, love a soothing female voice. Came here, girlfriend, fancy. You will get lots of early audience initially. And to be fair. Yes, when I'm for the back when I was watching other streamers consistently, and these days for the rare time that I actually do it, yes, that's probably one of the first things I look at is, ooh, that's a chick gamer, and she's playing Path of Exile even, you know. Whereas most girls I know probably just play whatever's trendy, you know, Fortnite, 
um, PUBG R or whatever the hell it's called, you know, or or if they do, they're streaming girly games. You know, not a whole lot of them are stream Path of Exile. Um, you know, I don't don't recall seeing a whole lot of them streaming Diablo two. That was probably the game that I watched the most. That I are that I watched the streamers the most on was Diablo two and Diablo three as well. Yeah, so I definitely agree with this. On the other hand, if they're boob streamers, I don't even bother. I mean, I mean hell, if I wanted to watch, I mean, hell, if I wanted to watch a chick with boobs, I just go on Google and type down chicks with boobs or something. I mean, sure as hell, I wouldn't want to go on a, on Twitch and watch it. Uh, personality comes first. Uh, for him, maybe, but again, I probably have totally unique tastes in this. Like I said earlier, uh, a really big one for me is the music they're playing. I mean, they can be the nicest, warmingest, caringest person in the world. They can be the coolest per streamer to be around. Or, excuse me, let me rephrase that. The coolest streamer to watch. It could be a great gamer playing a great game and whatnot, but if the music sucks, I'm gone. I mean, music is probably a big selling point with me. Personality is secondary. Whereas, uh, music taste, music taste is probably end all be all with me. No music is better than bad music. Um, game itself, I'm kind of like this. I would, at the very least, like to have played the game that they're streaming. Um, I've never played Fortnite. Never played PUBG or whatever it's called. I've never played that. So, plus uh, they're popular trendy games. Popular trendy games I tend to, I tend to veer away from. Yeah, just the herd mentality, for lack of a better phrase. You and me, you and me both. Um. Actually, I would probably play a lot more extreme metal, and black metal, and thrash and stuff. I actually have looked into trying to get vinyl, but the thing of it is, is um, the vinyl I'm looking for, um, names escape me right now, but there's like 80s metal, 80s satanic metal, stuff like that. Uh, Bathory is one of them. The problem is, is all the vinyl they sell is uh, either new, or if it's used vinyl, it's expensive as hell. So I'm not having any luck in that department. The only metal I could I could actually find was Metallica. Metallica and like one of Guar's albums. But all their other stuff is super expensive. So but like Angry Role Player though. Hey, he streams uh Path of Exile too. I'm a minority too, so This I would have to agree with too. It was also um, it also goes back to what I was saying back here too. You're probably a much better streamer than you think. Cause I'm, I'm just like this guy too. I don't. I have my regulars too, and they call, you know, they they're pretty much regulars because because of the things I do. Like they're not they're not fair fair weather friends. They, you know. They like it, and I never expect it. So, there's uh, viewers out there that actually want to see something different. But moving right along, I consider my streams a place to go for my viewers who just meaningful connections. I have a very small community. Yep. Yep. It's also what I said earlier too. Sorry to sound like a broken record, but I've um I've I've seen streamers that just would actually go out of their way to be entertaining, like Tony Little, if the name rings a bell. Bodybuilder, he sells a 
Is he sells exercise bikes. He's technique. He's just all super loud and obnoxious and abrasive and blah 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 blah. He can't stop talking. And he's all emotive and he all uses hand motions and he, you know, that kind of thing because he's trying to keep people from turning the channel. Same thing here. Doing a thing that's part of the charm, being kind of bad, making light of it. Yeah, I'm, again, when, when I watch other streamers, there was pro I probably had a huge checklist of things I looked for in a streamer, but that was back when I was actually watching other streamers consistently. Like I said, I haven't really watched I haven't really watched anybody consistently in almost three years now. Because I'm too busy streaming myself. Um, personality and effort. Um, effort. This here is kind of a nebulous term, but uh, one other thing that's also a turn off, and I think uh, there's also a lot of other people here. It's also a turn off for them is uh, excessive overlays. You know, like, it looks like the frickin' Jerry Lewis telethon or something. You got the ticker tape, latest donation, Billy Bob Jones with $100, and, you know, it just goes on and on, and got information here. You got the latest follower here. You got what music is playing here. You know, like, you know, like, you know, like they're playing something totally obscure and arcane or something. You know, it's a lot of times just mainstream tech, mainstream music by bands you either already know or music from genres that don't sound any different than anybody else or from people who don't excuse me from artists that don't sound any different than anyone else you know is the streamer is funny to watch talk to yeah where's um all I the only overlay I got on mine is my webcam and my chat box. And uh, even then, the only reason I probably really have that chat box in there is uh, I tend to make uh, I tend to make videos, I tend to make uh, video clips out of my out of my streams, out of my stream vids, and um, some of those, a lot of those stream vids, I'm actually talking to viewers. So having the chat box in there lets uh, anybody who wants to watch that video clip on YouTube, it lets them know who I'm talking to and what they're saying to me. That, but that's, for the most part, that's the only reason I have it in there. And sometimes it also comes in, it also does double duty, like if I have to go to the bathroom or something, I can type in Twitch chat, BRB bathroom, and it'll show up in the, it'll show up on my, on my screen. Uh, good audio. I kind of agree with that too. Um, there's a. I, I mean, I've also. That's probably another turnoff for me too. Uh, bad audio. Uh oh. Speaking of audio, now my speaker's starting to sputter. Okay, there it goes. But, uh. Yeah, a uh, bad. Bad quality is also a big turnoff for me. I get it doesn't have to be a, uh, it doesn't have to be, 1080, 160 pick, 100, 160 FPS or anything like that. But I need to be able to see clearly what you're doing, and not have be be damn blurry. I mean, the quality has to at least be better than the quality I had on my PS4, back when I was streaming on that. Um. But um, I guess uh, it's kind of a side note. Uh, because some people might complain that my in-game, my uh, in-game sound effects are might be too loud for the music I'm playing, or they're having a hard time hearing the music because of the, yeah, uh, uh, in-game stuff, the game, the in-game sounds. Um, one of the reasons why I might have have that fairly loud is because I'm trying to cover up the um, the the vinyl records I'm playing. Because uh, a lot of times Twitch will uh, 
they'll fly, they'll uh, mute my music for copyright reasons. But I I I'd rather them just mute it than to uh, stream on YouTube and have them stick an ad on it, or possibly even stick an ad to my entire video. And that I cannot stand that. So that's one of the biggest reasons I stream on Twitch. So I mean, I want in if I was sitting here playing. If I was sitting there playing super trendy, popular, top 40 music, you know, if I was doing that, and they're uh, muting everything, I under I'd understand that, but you know, but you know, I might, I might stream something obscure like Turk Murphy's Barrel House Jazz album. Ever heard of it? Neither have I, man. That's why I got it. You know, I might, you know, I might you know, play something like that. I mean, I mean, Twitch muting anything on that record it, to me is uncalled for. I mean, that's obscure as hell, man. You know, so I have. That's one of the reasons why I have to have the uh, in-game sound effects fairly loud to kind of drown that out somewhat. But that, that's my, that's my uh, side note tangent there. But, but yeah, like I said, I, I basically I do try to balance it out. I try to keep the mic levels, mic level in-game music, um, the vinyl records. I try to keep the levels to where I'm not too loud or nothing's nothing's too loud. But I think I'm uh, I'm kind of getting bogged down by this, so I'll just move forward. Uh, voice meter, or you could do what I do, just use the um. Use the meter on OBS. Okay. Damn. Well, I guess that's it. All right. Well, I guess that'll do it. Um. But yeah, yeah this is um. Back when I first started streaming, this is something I did fairly often. Uh, whenever I saw a good, a good forum topic come up, I. Turn on the OBS and record a video of me talking about it. It's easier for me to talk it out than it is to type it out. I mean, I'm pretty much like Jethro Bodine of the Beverly Hillbillies when it comes to typing. So, but that'll do it. Um, until next time, take care and thanks a lot for watching, especially if you made it this far. <laughs>